Do you know that when we have to choose a spouse, and I'm getting to that now, when we have to choose a spouse, you know, there's people smiling at me here and I know why. They say, why weren't you here 20 years ago? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> if you've already done it, it's okay, we can rectify. But we have to talk to those. We have to talk to those who have not yet uh, chosen the spouse. And even if you have, try and go back and see the qualities that you have looked at and develop on them, develop them. When you choose a spouse, the hadith says there are several things that people look at. Al-mal, some people look at wealth. Al-jamal, some people look at beauty. Al-hasab, some people look at the status of the person. And some people look at the nasab, which is the lineage of the person. And some people look at the deen and the religion of the person. So many people don't understand this narration. When the narration says, فَضْفَرْ بِذَاتِ الدِّينِ تَرِبَتْ yadak," The hadith says, become successful by selecting the one with religion, with character and conduct coupled with deen. One narration, the Prophet ﷺ says, إِذَا جَاءَكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُوقَهُ فَزَوِّجُوهُ when a proposal comes from someone whom you are satisfied with their level of character and conduct or in fact starting with the level of deen and character then allow them to get married allow them to marry you're looking at two things character and deen which means if the character is great and good or equivalent to yours slightly higher and the deen level is equivalent to yours slightly higher then you stand a better chance for your daughter to be in a home where she will be happy Get them married. So why is it that when it comes to wealth and looks and so on, some people think that in Islam, you don't look at looks. You know, you don't look at looks. As it is, the women are supposed to be covered. So you don't look at looks. That's wrong. The hadith didn't say, do not look at looks. The hadith is saying, you see all the points you want to see, but give the tip of the scale to the deen. Which means if you have someone who's drop dead gorgeous and they don't have any deen in them and then you have someone who hasn't yet, you know, killed you. You know what drop dead means you die. <laughs> they haven't yet killed you with their looks, but mashallah they can, I don't know if you can say drop unconscious gorgeous. <laughs> if that's a statement which is slightly lesser than the DD, you know. So if someone comes and they are good looking, okay, they have a better deen in them. It is better for you to compromise the looks to a certain extent and make sure that the religion is intact than to go only for looks because the plan of Allah is there will come a stage when that blemishless face will develop wrinkles. If you have loved the outward face, you will not be able to get along with that woman.